Welcome to another teardown and investigation video. Do you know the logo or the name? Please put in the comments if you know exactly what this is. There's a five pin Dean connector. Some sort of optical sensor. See? And a button. So what I think this is, I think this is a CRT monitor scanning device or like a pointer pen. So because there's a sense light sensor thing. Of course it could be a light sensor for a million other things, but it's formed to hold like this and then you point on the screen. Yada 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 yada. So depending on the how the screen is done uh, on the CRT timing wise, you could actually easy and very accurately determine the point where is the point on the picture it's very very heavy a little bit thick and quite annoying to hold because of this thickness so i guess there's some electronics in there otherwise it's a little bit stupid to make it this thick i will open this and we will have a look All screws out. Okay, so there's a little loose. Wow. Look at that. So this piece, this is only for closing the gap. So do you, okay, if you push the wire in here, all the, all the electronics comes out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that much? Wow, really? And a trimmer for adjustments. Well, that is amazing. I did not expect to see that much. This is metal. Okay, they grounded the chassis and they even took care of the metal here. So the metal is connected to the to the yeah to the outer shell so this is the button that just goes to a wire in the cable also look at, at this this looks like somebody tried to fix a grounding issue with some sandpaper <laughs> this is actually pretty cool I did not expect to see that much electronics. 74 LS132. And this is, I guess, one LM311. So this is an op amp. LM311. Okay, great. And what have we got here? Hmm, can't re really see, but it looks a little bit like transistors. I'll take a magnifying glass in a second. Decoupling capacitors and all sorts of stuff. Maybe we should figure out what is plus and minus here and see if we can boot this up and get a signal. That should be possible. Because we can just find the pin out of this IC and then trace the connections yeah hang on let's try and boot this thing up and see if it works so this ic is just a standard quad two input nand and this is plus five volts and this is ground so ground is actually the red and blue and positive is yellow. 
So far, so good. Then what is powering the op amp? Maybe there is another power supply for that. Hang on, I'll trace this. Of course I booted this up. <laughs> uh, 5 volts and uh, 8 milliamps. I found they are maybe using two different uh, voltages. Um, so th this is really crazy because there was a red wire here on the blue as well. That was ground. And then the black one is actually positive. And the yellow one, one is also positive. So the black one is another voltage used for the pen and op amp stuff. And then the yellow one is the 5 volt for this IC. But the funny thing is that it actually works. Now I put my scope on the green. And every time I push the button... Oh, it's difficult to hold this, but... See? Push the button and it goes low. And if I hold the button and at the same time... Hang on a second, I will do. Let's just do this real fast. So I push the button, the signal goes low, and then... Uh, is this power now missing? Because when I push the button and then hold my the light and then... Yeah, now it's doing something. Yeah, see this? This is my finger in front of the sensor. Finger is moving back and forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every time I touch the the sensor with my finger, I get some. So yeah, the signal needs to be very fast pulsing. So it is, uh, yeah. There must be a fast light transient for this detectors um, to to work. Uh, yeah, that is actually how it works. So yeah, we're happy. This thing is working. And uh, yeah, this is what it's doing. Definitely CRT, light pen thingy. But what was it for? Any kinds of computers with a five pen input like this could have been a Commodore. Or all sorts of other computers. If you know, please let us know. And the logo is this you need to look for. What is that? No clue.